Hi, I'm Georgia. And I'm Ellie. And we're the founders at WIPE. WIPE is the eco-friendly way to clean up down there. Today, we're asking for 50,000 pounds in exchange for 2% equity. Do you ever feel like toilet paper doesn't clean you up all the way? After all, dry doesn't clean. You wouldn't clean your dishes with a dry washcloth. And certainly, if you had poo on your arm, you wouldn't be satisfied with just wiping it with dry tissue. So why do we feel any different about toilet paper? When I moved to the UK from Italy five years ago, I was desperately missing my bidet. And I found out that here, it's quite common to use wet wipes. In fact, in the UK, 11 billion wet wipes are used each year. And of those, hundreds of millions are flushed, where they cause 300,000 sewer blockages every year. Here, you can see a fatberg, a full-size fatberg like the one that occurred in Whitechapel was 250 meters long and weighed 130 tons. And I told myself, there has to be a better way to solve this problem. So I teamed up with Ellie and we created Wiped and launched it last September. Simply apply our specially formulated 99% natural gel onto regular toilet tissue to instantly turn it into an efficient, 100% biodegradable and genuinely flushable toilet wipe. We're on a mission to redefine toilet time, and we'd love to have you along for the ride. I have myself received samples outside of the den of mm -hmm. two businesses that are currently doing this, but instead of saying it's about toilets at all, they've just said, turn your tissue into a wet wipe. One of them is in one of the big supermarkets. So why this and not the one that's already out there and actually yep. quite well distributed? So I think I know both the ones you're talking about. Um, it's, a, it's a different proposition. It's a spray. A spray will do exactly what water will do, which is it will break the tissue. Yeah, and also the eco-friendly angle isn't really covered very well. The packaging is plastic. Our bottle is aluminium. So I feel that our product is really superior in every way from that point of view. To raise awareness for a problem that maybe 90 odd percent of the population didn't realize existed and to change a consumer buying habit, yep. it's gonna take an enormous marketing spend. Maybe it seems like a lot of people don't know about this problem, but actually we really believe that with the right branding, which we've already built, we just have to push past the adoption curve and then it's just gonna take off, I'm sure about it. Have you sold to any baby retailers? Yeah. Um, our thought was that the baby market was so overcrowded and we really wanted to address the throwaway culture to uh, adults also while working on the wet wipe issue. I think you might find that the children in the baby market is easier. Parents will talk about their babies, cleaning their bottoms. Um, it's much easier. I don't think so. Sorry? I think you've positioned yourself in the least saturated part of the market. Otherwise, you're in there with bloody talcum powder and all of these other children products, which and no, you, but I, but it's I, impossible What I'm to... saying here is that if you've got mothers who are very eco-minded, and who are using wipes, they now see that they can get round this problem. I, I tend to disagree with Tuka's point. They never disagree with me, because I've got a lot more experience than you've got. Social media? What do you know about business? What do I know about business, Tuka? I built a 300 million don't, pound don't business at 28 down. years old. Oh, come on, please. What did I say? Nothing, carry on. Talk about social media. As I was saying before Tuka got triggered there, I tend to disagree with Tuka about the, the positioning and the narrative, right? So I think in terms of finding an interesting social narrative, this grown-ups with dirty butts thing I think is pretty compelling, right? However, I can't seem to get myself excited about it. So for that reason, I'm going to say that I'm out. Genuinely concerned that the business is going to really struggle. You have nowhere near the amount of capital to launch a business with the ambition that you have. So I'm going to say I'm out. I'm afraid I have been approached by another brand and their valuation that they offered to me was better. I'm out. My big worry is you are so fundamentally trying to change a habit and that is going to cost potentially millions. So best of luck with it, but I can't invest and I'm out. I can see this in the baby world. We know all the stores and I like the product. I'm going to make you an offer. I'll offer you all the 50,000, but I want 15%. Tukia, thank you very much uh, for the offer. However, 
I don't think that we completely align on which way this business should go and how it should grow. And while I think that you could bring a huge amount of value, I think for us, it just doesn't quite make sense at this time. Fine. In that case, I'm out. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.